Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the RS-232 that's provided within the 1CNC text editor. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is set up a configuration file for each CNC that you'd like to communicate with. This is very simple, just take your cursor to the top of the screen, left click on this icon, down here click on New, and then type in the name of the CNC. Don't worry about uppercase or lowercase because one CNC is going to save it all in lowercase anyway. I'm going to just type in Haas via 4 and then I'll click OK to that and click OK. Now once we've done that, that configuration file is loaded, but we need to set up the parameters for send and receive. To do that, click on the send button and in the lower left hand corner select settings. Here you're going to set up all the parameters for the RS-232 when sending to the machine tool. COM port, data bits, stop bits, all this information. Once you have this filled out, just click OK. That looks good. And now it's time to set up the parameters for receive. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. I'm going to start a new file here. I'm going to click on the receive button. Once we do that, go into the same settings. And now you're going to fill out the parameters for receiving data from your CNC. Once you've done that, click OK. And then we, if you want to, you can close this. Now what you've done now is you've successfully set up parameters for the Haas VF4. Now later on, when it comes time to sending a program to the Haas, what you're going to want to do is open up your file, come up to the top of the screen, select your pick machine, make sure that you select the Haas VF4, click OK, click on Send, and then you're going to want to click on the Send button. The same applies when receiving from the Haas. You're going to click on Receive and then click on the Receive button. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope that helped out. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.